Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to share with you my everyday jewelry. These are the pieces that I reach for every single day, the ones that get the most use, the ones that I think are the best investment for your money. I filmed an entire luxury jewelry collection video earlier this year, and I've acquired a few more pieces since then. But I find that there are just a few pieces that I reach for every single day and I wanted to highlight those for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. This jewelry organizer, by the way, is from the Container Store. I forget the name. I picked this up when they had a sale and I got it in this navy croc finish, but it comes in a bunch of different colors. I love this one because they are stackables. I think that's what they're called, stackers or something. And so I have a set of stackable ones, but then this one is a three drawer organizer. So it has these three drawers and then this top part is glass so you can see what's inside. And so even though these are three drawers, really the majority is right up here. So I'll go ahead and pull it out and let's dive into my everyday jewelry pieces. All right, I have gone ahead and pulled out the top drawer of my jewelry organizer. This is the stacker right here with the clear top. And starting off with my two most used pieces of jewelry, these are my wedding rings from Oat Carrot. And just to give you a closer look, the engagement ring is the radiant cut halo with pave diamonds along the side. And then the wedding band is a half eternity with the pave diamonds. The engagement ring is about a two carat total weight diamond. Now this is in rose gold, which I love because my original engagement ring and wedding bands are in platinum. So I love the white gold color, but I do like to mix my metals. So I like to have, you know, some options. What's great about oat carat is they are 100% ethical, 100% conflict-free diamonds. They are lab created diamonds. So they are 100% real diamonds, but you don't have to worry about where they come from. They are all 100% real diamonds made in the United States. They're made in Chicago. What's great about their wedding rings is they have a great return policy and an upgrade policy. If you want to upgrade your ring, for example, on an anniversary, you can upgrade to a bigger stone. They will accept your original ring for the full value and you can upgrade to a bigger stone or a different metal if your style changes. So this is the Radiant Cut Halo engagement ring. I have been wearing these rings every single day since I got them this year. I just love the rose gold. I think the rose gold is very flattering on my skin tone and I love the halo. It just gives it such a nice sparkle. And just to show you another necklace from Oat Carrot, this is their mixed shape diamond bar necklace in yellow gold. And I had to show it to you in their original packaging because it comes in this really cute box with a light. So when you open it, it's like a spotlight and it just makes the diamond sparkle so nicely. You have all the mixed shapes. So this is great to pair with other jewelry. So you have the oval round pair, emerald cut. It just looks so pretty. I have it here in the yellow gold. It's also available in white gold. And what's great about Oat Carrot is they are also carried at Nordstrom. So if you have a Nordstrom card or you're trying to reach icon status or you wanna get some points and Nordstrom notes with your purchase or redeem notes towards a diamond purchase, you can definitely get some Oat Carrot. Pick it up with your Nordstrom notes. I do have a code with Oat Carrot and I will include it in the description below and everything I talk about will be linked below as well. So this is the mixed bar necklace from Oat Carrot and my wedding ring is from Oat Carrot. This is the rose gold. This is the yellow gold. I always mix and match my metals. Next up, the two pieces that I am wearing also are my new Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch SE. And I got it in, I think the starlight color, which is kind of like a champagne-y metal. And then I got this watch band from Kendra Scott, which I just love because it looks like a real watch from far away. It has the tricolor metal. So you have the silver, yellow gold, rose gold here in the middle. And then there's a little Kendra Scott logo right there. But I love the way this opens because it just pops out like that. You push these on the side and it springs open, but it's a bracelet clasp, so it doesn't fall out and it's very easy to pop back on. And then the bracelet that I have been wearing nonstop is from Swarovski. This is their deluxe tennis bracelet and I have this in the rose gold. I just think Swarovski has such great quality jewelry. It is so sparkly. I have never had any issues with any of their jewelry tarnishing or any of the crystals falling out. I love the opening. I don't know what it's called, but this just kind of springs open here. And what's great about their tennis bracelets is that they come with an extra link. I didn't have to have adjusted at all. It had an additional link. I have it stored somewhere, but if you need the extra link, you can certainly add it back on, but I removed mine. And so it's just the perfect length for me. I love this. By the way, this bracelet is also available at Nordstrom and I may or may not have already ordered this in another color. Okay, we are back in my jewelry organizer and I don't know about you, but the most eye-catching piece of jewelry in here for sure, at least for me, is this bad boy right here. This is the London Blue Topaz and Diamond Halo 
ring in white gold. This was a birthday gift from my husband very recently. And of all places, you guys, this was from Costco. I love this. If you have not checked out Costco jewelry, you need to, you need to go check it out. I just, I love their stuff. I have a few pieces, which I will also show you, but this is this just such a gorgeous ring. The thing about Costco is all their rings are one size. So this is a size seven. I really probably need to get this resized. I'm usually a size five on my ring finger, but I want to be able to wear this on my right hand. So actually maybe I can get away with this. My birthstone is blue topaz. So I usually pick up for myself or my husband, my mom gifted me some blue topaz jewelry. I usually have some type of blue topaz and I just love this ring. There it is up close. There's the little basket. So pretty. Blue topaz ring from Costco. Okay, and then next up is this right here. This is from Cartier. This is the Trinity ring. I love the Cartier Trinity collection. I have three boys and I just feel like this collection represents them to me. It has all three colors. I love tricolor gold. You have the rose gold white gold and the yellow gold. And I just think it's so cool the way they kind of roll around together like that. So that is the Cartier Trinity ring. I did a full unboxing. I love the way the Cartier jewelry is packaged very nicely. I actually was gifted this by my husband for Valentine's Day. And for my anniversary, he gifted me this next piece, also from the Cartier Trinity collection. It is the Trinity necklace. And I just love the same style with the tri-color gold rings. This one has a little diamond. And then the chain, I think the chain is in rose gold. It's so cute, so dainty. This one is great for stacking. I wore this to a wedding earlier this year and it was very pretty. So this is something that I can just throw on. This one is great to dress up and down. It just is so classic. And I love to pair it with the matching Cartier Trinity ring. Next up is a very fun ring that I got recently. This is from Kendra Scott. It's just a piece of fashion jewelry, but I just love the snake ring. It has little crystals on here. I actually went jewelry shopping with my mom. She's visiting. And so we just were kind of going around. She was looking for some pieces and I wore this and I was getting so many compliments from the jewelry sales associates. And you know, sometimes when you have just fun costume jewelry, you think, oh, these fine jewelry salespeople might, I don't know, they might not appreciate, it, but I don't know, they really liked it. I really like this, so. I got this for my birthday recently and I wore it out to dinner for my birthday with a pair of Rene Calvia boots that have the same gold snake slithering along the heel and it just is such a cool edgy look. Another little bracelet I added to my arm stack is this fashion tennis bracelet. This is from Bobble Bar. They had a promo recently where you could get personalized jewelry and I just could not pass it up. This is in like a champagne color crystals and then it just has my name in yellow gold. It's just a fun little bracelet with my name on it. So I like to keep it right here. And another Costco find, this is 14 karat yellow gold paperclip bracelet. And what I love about this is the paper clips have alternating sizes. So you have these longer oval links and then you have these smaller links here. And what I plan to do with this bracelet is add these little charms. These were the Chanel charms from the holiday packaging this year. There were three different versions. One was this little starburst. Another one is this perfume bottle. And then there was another one that had the round Chanel charm. Um, I have it in another drawer, but I just think that this would look so cute, like a little charm bracelet clipped onto this smaller link right here. And then you have this. So you can add them all along the smaller links or just the one. And then you have a little dangling Chanel charm bracelet. So this is just the Chanel holiday packaging charm, but the bracelet itself is a very nice quality 14 karat gold paperclip bracelet from Costco. Now my most used designer fashion jewelry is definitely this Dior, I think it's called the 30 Montaigne toggle necklace. I just love this necklace so much. I wear it all the time. I love the color. It's a yellow gold, but it's like a bronzy, kind of a burnished, tarnished even you know, like a rustic, like rustic. I don't know if that's the right word. It just looks very well worn, like antique, bronzy, aged gold. And I really like this color. I love the little toggle. I like that it doesn't have any crystals and it just is so simple. It just looks so great with just a t-shirt. It looks great with a dress. It can definitely be dressed up or down very easily. It's a very heavy, hefty necklace. And I just bring this with me everywhere. It is so comfortable and so easy to take on and off. The clasp is right there in the front. You don't have to worry about a tiny lobster clasp. 
in the back of your neck. I wear this all the time. Now, if I were still working at my office job, this Chanel necklace would definitely be my most worn necklace. I wore this all the time. It just looks so great with a sheath dress, a black suit. I just love this look. I love pearls. I used to pair this necklace with these pearl earrings. It has the crystal double C right there with the dangling pearl. And I just love this look. I love pearls. Call me old fashioned. But since I became a stay at home mom, I really haven't been wearing this as much. So this is not in my everyday jewelry, at least not recently. These days, my most used Chanel necklace is this one. I just love that this has mixed chains. Here it's very glittery. It has almost like a diamond cut and then little crystals. And what I love about this is it has another little dangly chain coming from the clasp with the little Chanel on the back. And it just is so pretty. Even that is diamond cut. So it is a little glittery, but if I have my hair up and in the summer, if I'm just wearing a tank top, it, it's got this little detail hanging along the back and it's just so pretty. So this definitely is my most worn Chanel necklace these days. My two most worn designer bracelets are my Hermes click bracelet in the navy and then this Dior Jadior bracelet. I love cuff bracelets because they're so easy to take on and off and then you can kind of tighten it a little bit if you need to. This one, I was concerned a little bit about the pearl little details here, but they have been holding up okay. Generally these days, I try not to get stuff with crystals or little pearls and stones on there just because I don't want to have to deal with it when it falls off. But yeah, this is probably my most used Dior bracelet. A pair of stud earrings that I really like are from Nordstrom. This is the actual just Nordstrom house brand. I do have three ear piercings on both ears, so I like to wear this one on my highest one. And I just really like their Nordstrom brand jewelry. It's just fashion jewelry, so if it gets lost, it's not a big deal. But I just think they're very sparkly and they are very pretty. All right, let's talk about ear cuffs. I got these LV ear cuffs recently. I think they're called the Nanogram. And it's supposed to look like their puffy collection. <laughs> I don't know. I don't wear these a lot. They are so hard to put on for me. It just takes more time and energy and effort. And generally when I'm getting dressed in the morning, I just kind of throw on my clothes and I just throw on my jewelry. But these are harder to put on. So I just find myself not really reaching for these. But what I do like to wear frequently are the Hermes ear cuffs. So I have these in a couple sizes. The smaller one is the one that fits me and I have it in two colors. One is in a navy and rose gold and then I have it in the gold and gold, yellow gold. These came in two sizes. I did a couple videos about these because the larger size, it did not work for me as an ear cuff, but this does work for me as a scarf ring and I did wear this as a scarf ring recently. So I keep this in here. Does not work for me as an ear cuff, but these two, do work for me as ear cuffs. I love these. They're so easy to put on and off and I just think they look so cute. I love these, the Hermes ear cuffs. I don't know if these are still available. They're kind of hard to get your hands on. They kind of come in and out of stock. Another necklace from Costco is this blue topaz station necklace. I really like this for stacking because I don't have any necklaces really that are like this style where, you know, it's station gemstones. Most of my necklaces are pendants. And so this just looks very pretty when you're stacking it with a bunch of uh, different styles. And then my two most worn Tiffany necklaces are the Tiffany Jazz in Platinum. This is it down here. The diamonds are kind of like a bezel set. This is so pretty. I wear this all the time and it's so great for stacking, especially with this. This is the Tiffany by the Yard. I forget what size this is. Also a bezel set, but this is in the yellow gold, I believe, or it could be rose gold. These necklaces are so great for stacking because they're so dainty. And so when you have a couple of them layered, especially this solitaire diamond necklace layered with another necklace, they just look so pretty together. And I like to mix the metals, but those are my most worn Tiffany necklaces. And then I almost forgot about this. This is a crystal tennis bracelet from Alex and Ani. And this has that bolo kind of a closure, which is nice because these I think are easier to take on and off. But I just love these iridescent crystals. Look, it matches my nails. I love these colors, you guys. Very, very pretty. All right, guys, those are my most used jewelry every single day. Definitely my oat carrot wedding rings. I wear these every single day. If you're interested in 100% real and 100% conflict-free diamonds, I will link their info below with my promo code. But let me know what are your most used jewelry pieces every single day. If there's something in here that I haven't talked about, check out my full luxury jewelry collection video, but drop a comment and I can kind of talk about it. There are some pieces here that I just don't reach for every day, but I do love because again, this whole drawer is my most used jewelry. But I hope you enjoyed watching me talk about my most used jewelry. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.